Uh, well, first, I think it's really important to put Indonesia's energy system into, uh, into context. So, in recent years, Indonesia has experienced rising living standards, rapid urbanization, strong economic growth. All of this have translated into strong electricity consumption growth. Um, at the same time, over the last five years, most of Indonesia's new power demand growth has been met by new coal plants. So after China and India, Indonesia was actually the third largest source of new coal-fired power generation capacity um, additions over the past five years. So going forward, sustaining Indonesia's economic sec success story is, is really dependent on each Indonesia having sufficient and diverse energy supply. Um, improving air quality is also very important and in this light, renewables could play a very significant role, a much larger role than they're playing right now. Um, in 2014, renewables accounted for about 11% of electricity generation. Most of this was from hydro and geothermal. Um, but Indonesia has very good resources in renewables, uh, particularly in geothermal, where they have about 40% of the world's potential. So Indonesia also has in place renewable policies uh, in the form of long-term targets and incentives. Uh, but despite the presence of these, there's a number of roadblocks for scaling up investment in renewables. Um, these include um, implementation and, and policy uncertainties with regards to renewable policies, um, onerous permitting procedures, um, land access issues. Um, sometimes land access uh, is in conflict with forest conservation aims, in particular with the, um, uh, with the development of geothermal. Um, obtaining financing is also difficult some in some cases. And Indonesia's geography as a sort of vast island nation uh, makes it very hard to integrate renewables um, across the entire geography. That said, um, some recent efforts have started to boost investment prospects. So Indonesia's um, undergoing a series of, of power sector reforms and reforms in terms of improving the quality and, and policy design of renewable policies and also of the institutions um, that, um, that govern the electricity sector and the, and the energy sector in general. So these are starting to boost investment project or prospects. So recently we saw the financing of two large wind farms in Indonesia. These would be the two largest wind farms um, to date in this country. And the government has also taken steps to stimulate the geothermal sector. And in the future, they're planning to hold an increased number of auctions to tender uh, geothermal reserve blocks. Um, that said, putting all these things together, uh, the IEA recently did a visit to Indonesia and it recommended continuing the, the power sector reforms, continuing reforms of electricity tariffs, um, and also introducing more clarity and reducing uncertainties for renewable policies to help take advantage of a lot of the renewable cost declines that we've seen uh, globally.